guys welcome back to our channel and if you're new welcome my name is Aisa and I'm really glad you clicked on this video so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep my natural hair for my wigs so I basically do this method all the time and I wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of you also wear wigs so I thought it would be helpful and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely stick around and if you want to see more hair tutorials like this definitely hit the subscribe button down below and yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and let's get right into this video hey guys so the first thing obviously i'm gonna start by moisturizing my hair and i am working on fully freshly washed hair and i'm just taking my shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie you guys have seen this before if you watch my videos if you don't make sure you subscribe but yeah so i always use this to moisturize i normally also use my um conditioner leave-in conditioner but i ran out so i'm gonna just moisturize with my curl enhancing smoothie this works as well um, you want to make sure you know you get in there so you're gonna see me like separating the hair and making sure I get in there focusing a lot on the ends because they do get dry and yeah just take your time with this make sure every strand is well moisturized I was kind of lazy normally I work in sections but this time I just decided to do everything together so don't necessarily be like me guys but yeah make sure everything is moisturized once i am done moisturizing my hair with that smoothie i'm gonna go ahead and seal it and i'm going to seal it with this um tropical i forgot the exact name but it's basically black castor oil guys and you can use any brand i just use this one and yeah it works really well especially for hair growth so now it's time to start braiding um so before we do that we're gonna go ahead and part the hair and to do so i'm using this little um pick from one of my combs you can use whatever if you have a comb that you like whatever and guys because i'm doing this on myself obviously the parts aren't going to be perfect but that doesn't really matter so now i'm going to go ahead and tuck away that section that i don't need and once that's tucked away and basically out of my reach i'm going to go ahead and start parting the other side now the main thing and the most important thing that you guys need to know is that you need to make sure your braids are flat so obviously this isn't a braid tutorial a cornrow tutorial um if you guys do want me to do a cornrow tutorial i can show you guys obviously i'm not i'm going to say that i'm going to put it out there i'm not like the best braider out there and when i do them on myself it's kind of harder for me to get them neat compared to when i do it on someone else so i can always show you guys how i cornrow someone else's head but when i do them on myself this is how i do them so i'm just sectioning it off and i always make sure that the two front sections the two sections in the middle i mean are the ones that are smaller i make them smaller because it's easier if you make them smaller there's less of a chance of them being bulky and kind of like showing or like making your wig look bigger i don't know if that makes sense but basically i make those i leave like less hair in those two braids or two sections at the top of my head because obviously like that's where i want it to be flat and if it's not flat like it's gonna show you know your wig isn't going to lay that well but yeah basically once that is done i go ahead and proceed to braid but like i mentioned this isn't a braiding tutorial so i'm kind of just fast forwarding through this but definitely leave a comment down below if you want me to do a cornrow tutorial for you guys i know that might be helpful for some of you um obviously practice makes perfect so i learned to do this on myself by 
just practicing, practicing, practicing. And I did start practicing on other people first. And then as time went by, I practiced on myself. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just braiding my hair down and trying my best to, you know, just get it as flat as possible and as neat as possible. I also want to mention that when I braid my braids for like under my wigs I normally don't go all the way down like so I braid like as much as I can and then the ends I normally just twist them so because the ends are always tucked in anyway so that's what I'm doing right here I'm like braiding it down and you see I twisted it so that's how I normally do it and yeah I just basically repeat the same steps throughout the entire head. As you can see the sections closest to my ears I normally do them a little bigger because obviously at that pl place like I don't really care if my braids are that bulky and for the most part they never really end up being bulky just because I don't know I guess I have like I I'm really not sure but they never really end up being that bulky so I don't really care for those braids to be smaller but as you can see the ones at the top I make sure they're smaller so that they can be as flat as possible and that's what's really important guys now it's time to move on and once our braids are done we are going to go ahead and oil our scalp and this is just because the point of a protective style is to leave your natural hair alone so that your hair can grow and black castor oil is known to basically help with hair growth so what I normally like to do once I'm done with my braids as you can see I just go ahead and put a bit of oil on my fingertips and oil my edges especially I focus a lot on my edges I just oil and massage that in just because the wigs you know sometimes it can if it's too close if you get some glue or free spray or whatever you use or gel it can get close to the edges so I like to do that and then normally I use a dropper but I couldn't find it so I just go and put some oil between the rows and of course on the ends of the hair and that's basically how my hair looks at the end of this process so guys this is the end of the video i hope it was really really helpful to you guys definitely leave a comment down below if you think this video was helpful and leave a comment if 
there's any other video or hair tutorial that you would like to see because I definitely like to bring that to you guys but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video definitely don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this we do hair makeup fashion so definitely subscribe and stick around join the family and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in our next video bye